So this year in season 10 of All for Adventure, we took the big boat to all new heights. Dragged it all the way to the Kimberley, a place called Honeymoon Bay. Now the thing about getting a, that size boat up to the top end of the Kimberley, well, you gotta get it there. You gotta get it there on a trailer. Now, so CJ make the trailer and the boat, and to get it all the way to the top end of Honeymoon Bay, that was one tough track. And that was some serious bush bashing going on with an eight metre long boat. So trailer and boat is eight metres long and it takes a lot, mate, I don't know what it takes, a lot of stupidity to drag that thing through the bush. But once you get it onto the water, it's, it's a dream. And you also got to remember that it's not just me, Simon and Jesse in that boat. There is a whole team in there and we've got to haul them. They've got to have their gear, swags, food, fuel, water, you name it. The logistics are insane. But there's always somewhere to put something. There's a fridge. It's got everything. It's set up the way All for Adventure sets things up and that's the beauty of it. Hey Jace. Rob. Straight ahead. See? I love this place already, mate. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at you. Look at you, you cheeky little reptilian, you. So there's no doubt about it, uh, 3.7 Nomad is the boat of choice if you're car topping. There's nothing else that compares to it. It is its, its capacity to carry, its uh, ability to hold a 20 horsepower four stroke, um, its beaminess, all that sort of stuff. I've had a lot of boats in my times and I find the 3.7 is the most practical and it feels like it's the biggest boat for its size. Uh, we used them up at uh, Drysdale in the Kimberley. Let's see if our God's still hanging around here, eh? Hey. Might come in here in the airport. Come on, buddy. <laughs> oh, look at the oh. size of those choppers. I love it, eh? It's like feeding a crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> and then we dragged him all the way out to uh, the Moyle River there, up in the floodplains. So, perfect. We've been using them for years and years and years now. They've even got a high-sided thing for if you're worried about crocodiles jumping in or something. Me, personally, I'm not worried about them jumping in. As you can see, we spent a lot of time in little tinnies with big crocodiles. Look at this side. How awesome is this river? This is about 11, 12 footer, so it's a male, too big to be a girl, yeah. and he's not shy. 